the snow leopard saved the wolf pup. And when he grew up... That winter in Central Asia was especially cold, with the temperature staying below zero for days on end. Forest dwellers hid in their burrows, only coming out of their shelters to hunt. The snow leopard that lived in the depths of the forest also left his lair only when it had to. His hunting skills are well known to all the inhabitants of the woods. He was an experienced and a cunning tracker. His steps were soft and confident. His fangs were sharp as a blade, and he didn't leave his prey any chance of survival. That was his territory. Everything was familiar there. Every path. All the thickets. He lived there. He was born there and raised there. Secretive by nature, he set up his lair in the most secret part of the dense forest. He was a lone predator who had mastered the art of disguise. That morning, nothing disturbed his usual way of life. Calmly leaving his shelter, the snow leopard froze, carefully looking around and listening to the sounds. He had no one to be afraid of because he was at the top of the food chain there, and only a human could harm him. The snow leopard's yellow eyes narrowed, and he impatiently moved his large head from side to side. He could sense that a deer was nearby. That would be some incredible luck with so much meat. He could afford not to hunt for a long time. Snow Leopard didn't even doubt that he would be able to catch the large animal. His fluffy paws softly and inaudibly stepped on the snow, and not even a single twig cracked under them. The powerful and flexible body was almost invisible against the snowy background. Finally, the deer appeared. It was a large male with beautiful antlers. Unaware of the impending danger, it calmly looked for islands of moss near the trunks of trees. When the deer sensed the danger, it was already too late for a perfect launch, and the deer became the prey of the experienced leopard. The snow leopard wanted to start eating, but he suddenly stopped, having heard a strange sound. It was either whining or crying. That sound was full of anguish and pain, mixed with despair and fear. The predator always felt fear very distinctly. He decided to check it out. Having growled loudly to warn of possible encroachment on his prey just in case, he headed for the crying sound in the bushes. He saw the body of a young female wolf. There was no doubt that she was no longer breathing. Then, the snow leopard sensed the smell of his enemies. It surprised and puzzled him since people had never gone so far into the forest before. He turned around to leave. He couldn't understand people. He was a predator himself, but he would never kill for fun. Suddenly, there was some movement near the wolf's body. Having noticed it out of the corner of his eye, the snow leopard immediately turned around and prepared to attack. But what he saw made him stop. There was a wolf pup next to the dead mother. He was still quite clumsy, awkward, and tiny. The emaciated wolf pup was shivering, unable to warm himself at the cold side of his lifeless mother. The wolf pup looked directly at the huge, unknown beast standing a couple steps away from him with his hungry little eyes. The law of the forest is simple. Only the strongest survive. And so the snow leopard calmly walked away, majestically waving his long tail. But a sharp squeak behind him made him turn around. The stubborn little creature was frantically trying to follow him, having trouble getting over the huge branches. Deciding to scare the pup so that it would fall behind, the leopard hissed menacingly and bared his teeth. The wolf pup sat down in fright, but continued on his way. Just a couple of seconds later, he clearly had a little strength left. The leopard went faster, assuming that the pup would fall behind. The predator returned to his lair, but he froze as soon as he started eating. The same pup was standing at the lair entrance, trembling, but he was in no hurry to enter. He only stood there whimpering quietly and looking at the white beast. Grabbing the uninvited guest by the scruff of the neck, the snow leopard dragged him inside and lowered him in front of the meat. The wolf pup was too small to bite off such a large piece, so the snow leopard had to bite off smaller pieces and give them to the pup. The little wolf fell asleep. His dirty, wet coat froze and was sticking out like needles. The snow leopard started licking the foundling. 
It took him a long time before the dirty fur finally became light and soft. The formidable predator and the pup slept side by side. The snow leopard could feel the beating of the pup's heart and its pleasant warmth, and he didn't even notice when he fell asleep soundly and for a long time. Thus, the wolf pup found a new family. There was no point in driving him away now. The leopard accepted the pup, trying not to think about what would happen when he grew up. After all, northern wolves are known for their enormous size, strength, and uncontrollable rage. The snow leopards had an unspoken agreement with these animals. Thanks to the snow leopard, the growing wolf never again felt hunger or fear. They were comfortable around each other, obeying a strange feeling. The snow leopard taught the adopted pup his habits in hunting and survival. Although the wolf instinct helped him become agile and successful at hunting even without these lessons, now this unusual couple often appeared in the forest, hunting together or just walking around. The snow leopard allowed his adopted son to play with his tail and no longer got angry when he tried to bite him. The pup had long become a hardened wolf, but he recognized the snow leopard's authority and obeyed him. He often went about his business, but always returned. The way he saw it, the snow leopard was his pack, and wolves don't abandon their packs. The snow leopard was getting old. It was getting more difficult for him to hunt. One day, when the first snow covered the forest, he had to go farther away from his lair than usual. Then, he heard the sounds of people. They were hunting him down. The hunting dogs took his trail, and the huge, rare cat had to flee. He heard the sounds of shots behind him, and no matter how the snow leopard tried to get away, he felt a sharp pain. A bullet hit his leg and went through. The predator felt his life flowing out of him together with the red drops of blood. His weakened paws no longer obeyed him. His vision became blurry. The animal fell into the snow but he could still hear the roar of his foster child break through amongst the human voices. Terrible rage gave the wolf strength. The hunting dogs trying to get close to the leopard were scattered from the blows of his powerful paws. His grin was terrifying. The hunters didn't shoot for fear of hitting their own animals. The skin of the snow leopard is now worthless as it was spoiled by the blood flowing from the wound. If they had gotten the wounded beast right away, they could have been able to fix it, but now it was too late. The animal had become useless to them. The skin was ruined, and the meat was inedible. The people took their dogs and left. The huge wolf carefully picked up the snow leopard by the scruff of the neck, just as the snow leopard had once done to him, and pulled the leopard into the lair. The wolf tried to walk slowly and carefully, but the frozen branches still scratched the skin of his adopted father. When the snow leopard woke up, he realized that a lot of time had passed. The last thing he remembered was the pain and the brutal cold that gripped his entire body. But now, he was warm. Having opened his eyes, the white predator saw his wolf tightly clinging to him. That was what made him so warm. The foundling licked the wound so it was no longer bleeding. At his first movement, the wolf jumped for joy. There was fresh meat already waiting in the corner of the lair. The wolf paid off his debt. The leopard could no longer hunt as his leg was badly injured by the shot. He limped heavily, but he never had to go hungry because he had someone to take care of him. The strange couple continued to surprise the inhabitants of the forest for a long time. The old snow leopard could be proud of his wolf. He grew up to be a strong and dexterous hunter, and he didn't even think about the fact that he was the reason for it.